In this video, we are going to explore the configuration namespace. The Dotson Core configuration namespace provides types to create, maintain, and serialize groups of typed data using key type value triplets. First, we will create a console application and add a reference to the Dotson Core assembly. We will create a configuration group called Demo. We will create a date as a date time offset type and a username as a string and add them to the root group. We will create a subgroup called integers and add some integer types to that subgroup. Again, each type takes a key, a value, and a type. Next, we will create a subgroup called rational numbers and add some rational numbers to it. First, we will create an XML serializer and use it to serialize the configuration to XML. Then we will create an INI serializer. And finally, we will create a comma separated value serializer. Finally, we will display the results of the serializations and wait for the user to press any key. Compiling and running the application demonstrates that the configuration was serialized into XML I and I and comma separated values. As you can see, each item is made up of a key, a type, and a value. The real power of the Dotson Core configuration namespace comes from the I configurable interface. It is modeled after the .NET I serializable interface. The Dotson Core configuration I configurable interface has a single get only property called configuration and assumes an implied constructor that takes a Dotson Core configuration I configuration group. We will implement the interface and add the implied constructor. Next, we will add some properties. and we will override the toString to make it simple to view the properties. The iConfigurable git property expects a Dotson Core configuration iConfiguration group which contains the configuration information for this type. This will be the same iConfiguration group that will be fed into the implied constructor. First, we will create a configuration group and then we will add an item for each property. Each item takes a key, a value, and a type. Finally, we will add an item called type, that is the type of the type and sets its value to the assembly qualified name of this type. This entry will be used to instantiate this type by calling its implied constructor and feeding it this configuration. In the implied constructor, we will use the Dotson Core configuration configuration helper find configuration item method to find the named item and return its value. This method takes the configuration to search and the name and the type of the item to search for. If it does not find the item by name or the named item's type does not match the specified type, an exception will be thrown. In the main application, we will create a demo class and populate its properties. We will serialize the demo class into XML and write it to a file. Next, we will read the file and deserialize it into a new configuration. Then we will use the Dotson Core configuration configuration helper instantiate type from configuration group method to instantiate a new type from the configuration. Then we will display the new type and wait for the user to press any key. Compiling and running the application will render the configuration to an XML file. Opening the file, we can see each item has a key, a type, and a value, including the fully qualified assembly name of the demo class type itself. 
By pressing any key, we will load the XML file and display its properties. Next, I will place a breakpoint in the application. This will allow us to see the values of the deserialized class. As you can see in the locals window, each item has been correctly read and strongly typed to their specified types. The Dotson Core Library utilizes the iConfigurable interface for many of its types. Let us look at a few example configuration files. Specifically, let's look at the log controller. In this configuration, the log controller uses a log splitter. The log splitter is made up of any number of log filters, and each log filter is made up of a log and a log validator. This configuration file shows that this log splitter is made up of seven log filters. Most of the log filters have a log and a log entry validator group, which defines the log and a log validator to instantiate for that log filter. However, log filter number seven only defines a log entry validator item. This is because the service registration program service filter does not require a configuration group to be instantiated. It will be instantiated with the default constructor. In this configuration, the notes provider group item defines which group below will be instantiated and used as the note provider. This will allow for unknown types to be added in the future by simply adding instantiatable configuration groups with accessible assemblies. The Dotson Core configuration namespace makes it easy to create human readable and editable configuration files in either XML, INI, or comma separated value files and provides the ability to instantiate types from those configuration files. Please see the Dotson Core documentation help file for more information.